What's up, love bugs? I am back with another video. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> this is a different type of video. I get a lot of random comments on my older videos, and a lot of you guys are asking a lot of questions. I do try to respond to the comments, but sometimes I just kind of forget. Sorry, y'all. But I am actually pretty good at responding to comments. But I get a lot of the same questions. So I was just like, you know what? Put it in a video. Whatever. Somebody might want to hear it. So if this is your first time checking out my channel, hello, hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime I do any type of uploads. Also, follow me on social media, Beauty on the Go with Miss Jo. I am a social media slacker. Sometimes I don't always upload, but what is? Anyways, so let's get into it. So I am answering hair questions and skin questions. So this is pretty much for all the audience across the board. A lot of you guys have a lot of skincare questions and a lot of hair questions care questions so the top question that I get a lot on my hair is how often do I cut my hair I cut my hair twice a year uh, the first cut that I usually do is usually a legitimate cut the second time is just a baby trim that probably doesn't even do anything to be honest so I know some people say they do six to eight weeks three to four weeks I literally think it's just at users discretion I don't feel like there is a you need to cut it every Da, 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 da. you can definitely tell when your hair is looking like frumpy and lifeless so that's usually a good indicator that you probably need to cut your hair but outside of that twice a year I get is how many products do I use in my skincare regimen my skincare regimen consists of five products right now a well it's a little touch and go right now but to be honest mm, yeah anyways it's five products that I typically use I usually use a wash a face wash a what do i use a face wash a moisturizer an eye cream a spot corrector and some type of scrub that scrub is honestly optional it's, it's a little optional right now but i usually have about five products in my skincare regimen depending on what my skin is going through right now i have a ton because my face is just kind of all over the place so i've been trying to swap out stuff that's why I said I really don't have a regimen right now, but what I do is usually about five products. Right now, I'm just trying to play with different products and see what I like, what I don't like, especially since it's about to be winter time and my skin is about to get extremely dry. <laughs> the next question is how often do I, no, how do I, not how often, how do I moisturize my hair? I get this question a lot, actually. And I think because if you have finer hair, it's kind of hard to moisturize your hair without weighing it down. So the easiest thing for me is I stop wetting my hair every day. That was the biggest thing that, that's pretty much the best thing I could have ever done with my hair is stop wetting it every day. And I also stop using gels and mousses. I'm a huge gel fan, I love gels. But they were so drying on my hair, they didn't put any moisture back. No matter what type of mousse or gel that I picked up, it just wasn't beneficial to me. So I start switching over to creams. And creams you gotta be careful because they're heavy, but honestly I started putting water, adding water to some of the creams that I use and it's been helping and I start using oils a lot. I start doing a uh, hot oil treatments and I'm um, really oiling my scalp and just making sure that whatever I use is lightweight and it will actually get the job done for me. So a lot of the oils that I use, I haven't really been oil hopping per se because I found a good regimen routine that works for me. So those are pretty much the things that I did to start moisturizing my hair. Another question I get about hair is why don't I section my hair when I style it? I don't section my hair when I style it because I'm a frizz girl. I don't really like having even product all over. I know that's such an oxymoron statement, but I'm just the type that I don't, mm -mm. my hair is just too fine. I don't want it to look defined. I don't want it to look weighted down. I want it to just look like big 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 and today I feel like my hair wasn't big it was just a <laughs> but I tried this new product and I just feel like the product was heavy but anyways I'm definitely not a person that likes to section off my hair when I style it I'm here for the frizz honestly I love it and a lot of people have asked me do I still use those serums that I've done videos on I actually still do use the serums I still use restore 
and I still use the hydrate one. The vitamin C one I don't use. I think my skin just started not liking it anymore. I loved it when I was using it, but my skin just turned on me. So I actually still use those two serums. I just don't use the other two. Another question I get, I don't know if I'll link the video below too. Do I co-wash? No, I don't co-wash. And I don't co-wash because I just don't feel like it cleans your hair. Like my hair is too fine anyways. So I feel like the co-wash pretty much just adds more junk to my scalp, if you know what I mean. So I'm not really a fan of that. Another question is, is how do you keep your skin clear? <laughs> you know, sis. No, but seriously, I pretty much just drink a lot of water and I know my skin very well. Don't get me wrong, I still get the occasional breakouts. Like I have a breakout right here on my nose. I don't know if you can see it, but I legit have a breakout right here. But outside of that, I think helping your skin stay clear. I know some people are prone to acne no matter what they do how they eat change up but I think a lot of people also jump on the bandwagons of product topping and just doing the end thing but you literally have to learn your skin there's a lot of stuff that I didn't jump on the bandwagon to just with just because I know my skin was either allergic to that or I knew it just wouldn't work for me so really just knowing your skin and I mean like don't and it's so crazy because I had this conversation with somebody else recently you know when you go to the counter at Ulta or Clinique or something like that and they'll be trying to sell you stuff and it's just kind of like you literally have to tell these people no like no I don't want that or no that's not going to work for me don't feel pressured to buy something um but you definitely do have to know your skin inside and out so if you're allergic to something like cheese that can break your face out I've had several facial breakouts and behind cheese. Um, also, if you're allergic to salicylic acid, if you're allergic to citrus fruits, like you do have to read the labels. Read, read, read the labels. I don't care if Beyonce is wearing Tatcha. Tatcha has a lot of citrus fruits in it. And if that's what you're allergic to, you don't need to pick that up. And those products are expensive as hell. Um, but besides that, really just know your skin, study your skin. Nobody knows your skin better than you do. You can take advice from some people, but they don't live in your skin 24 seven. So definitely know your skin and you will avoid a lot of problem problems. Also don't product top. I know that's crazy coming from me, but mixing a lot of products and doing a lot of new regimens and stuff like that. It doesn't work for most people. Most people, it, it barely works for me. Honestly, you know, I don't even think it works for me. But you just have to know your skin, know what you can and can't have, and stick to a regimen and stay with it. That's literally it. And I'm very consistent with my skin. I don't, sometimes I get lazy, but when I get lazy, my skin shows it. Another question I get a lot, do I use black, what is it, black African soap? African black so whatever no I don't use that on my face I don't know um I attempted to use a conditioner a deep conditioner with it in it and it literally broke out the entire round like the entire edges of my face like my like my skin was on fire so I get that question asked a lot but no I don't use it and also I get people ask do I use witch hazel? No, I don't use witch hazel. I'm actually allergic to witch hazel. I have used it in some products before, but it's really been low, low, low on the ingredients pull. So it didn't do anything, but no, I don't. That's not something I just go out and pick up. Another question I get a lot is, do I still use the Camille Rose oil? I think I get that a lot on pretty much that video and any other video after that. I actually do still use it. Do another one is do I wash my face daily? Yes, I do wash my face daily. I don't always wear makeup though, so I don't necessarily have to use harsh washes, but I do cleanse my face twice a day.
So another hair question is, is do I do multiple products still in my wash and goes? No, I only do one and that's pretty much it. If I need oil on my ends, I'll stick oil, but my main product is one. I don't, the oil, if you guys ever see my old wet and go video, I use multiple, no, I only use one now. Another question I get is how did I know what I was allergic to? Because I think I've mentioned that in a couple of videos. How did I know what I was allergic to skin wise? I took an allergy test and it wasn't for my skin purpose. I actually just took an allergy test because my allergies were so bad and I didn't know what was going on. So I took a food one, which is pretty much the blood one. And then I took the arm one. Yeah, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. I, I don't, I'm, probably equivalent to the bubble kid not even trying to be funny but I don't know what's going on with me like I'm literally allergic to life okay another question that I get is did what was my final results of the curly proverbs tea rinse <laughs> we're just gonna leave it at that smile anyways um, another one was, am I going to do the 15 days of skincare again? I think I did it twice last year. Honestly, I was thinking about doing it, but I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do like 15 new products. It was rough on my skin though when I did that. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I'll keep y'all posted on that one. Cause I think I did it during Christmas time. No, Christmas time I did the top. 12 products of 2017 and a lot of them were skincare products and just by the end of that I was like girl you got to take a break so we'll we'll see on that I don't really know about that one um another one is is do I take hair vitamins no I don't I think that stuff's a hoax honestly I've taken hair care vitamins and some of them work some of them don't I think it's just a mental thing y'all keep your coins like seriously that's not even worth it no I don't know I don't know individual results may vary I'm not a fan of them okay some people still ask do I pre poo I actually still do I still have the same one I haven't bought a new one I actually like how it feels so I just stick with the same kind I feel like yes it's worth it but I also feel like oh my gosh that's so many steps in a wash day routine I just y'all I can't I can't right now someone asked me have I ever used a steamer no I thought about it but then I was just like girl mm -mm, you real lazy you're not gonna do no steamer and so I decided not to get a steamer I was legitimately gonna buy one and then I was like girl you know you lazy another skincare one how do I fight black spots so the thing is is with black spots it's rough like depending on how aged the spots are how deep they are and how much you have I feel like some people definitely do probably have to entertain the chemical peel process but that's a lot of maintenance like I've watched those videos mm, yeah it's a lot but how I personally fight black spots I usually can get away with a spot corrector and a sunscreen that's pretty much my go-to I also do use scrubs scrubs help a lot but you definitely have to be careful with scrubs because scrubs some of the scrubs one don't even do anything and two they tear like they do little tears in your skin so you definitely have to be careful with how you're doing scrubs because scrubs aren't always the best alternative but I would use some type of spot corrector with some type of retinol I feel like the retinol spot correctors work a lot better than just the regular smuggler ones that people try to advertise I like the Neutrogena rapid spot corrector one that's bomb go pick that up it's a drugstore one I believe it's like $19.99 go cop that have I tried any other CNC products no I actually haven't tried any of the clean other of the clean and clear products by CNC or CNC whatever that is I did a video on that I still use that cleanser that cleanser is actually bomb but I haven't tried anything else from that line and then 
soap and glory i get a lot of questions on that video too have i tried anything from soap and glory outside of that soap no i don't I haven't picked up anything else from it yeah another one is am i oily or dry i am dry <laughs> i'm not combination i used to be combination a while ago but i haven't been combination in quite some time i'm pretty dry oh i get this uh, a lot of this is do i use conditioner i don't use regular conditioners i just demoed a product with a regular conditioner that i actually liked but honestly i just skipped the conditioning process and just deep condition i feel like just deep conditioning will help out i don't really i feel like a conditioner is just like a waste of time I guess if you're out somewhere and you need to condition your hair, like traveling, you'll need to pick one up, but like an everyday use or every wash use, nah, I don't bother. Oh, another question people are asking is, did the Camille Rose oil grow my hair? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to that. All I know is it moisturized the mess out of my hair, so that's why I picked it up and that's why I continued to use it. And it helped with shedding too. It's bomb. The last question I'm going to answer is do how long do I want my hair to grow? Honestly, I really don't have like a length goal. I know people have goals and stuff like that. I don't. I don't really care. I mean, whether it's short, long, whatever. I just want it to be healthy. I think I've said that before. So, because a lot of you are like, do you ever do length checks and stuff like that? Nah, I ain't got time for that. Girl, don't nobody care about length. Well, I don't. I mean, some people do, but I don't personally. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Bye.